practice went well there this morning, I changed a few things in the car to think it would make it better to be honest, it hasn't, I probably went the wrong road, so in fact the old setup, it was actually the front and steering, so I'm putting on, I don't know, back into the car again, so we have another practice session here before qualifying today, where they hopefully mix the car steer the way I wanted to steer again, and uh, we'll give it a go and hopefully practice the next practice session a lot more successful, but it wasn't that bad, but we won it 100%. I uh, fitted new rear, rear Wi Fab shafts to the car. And all my life, I always thought there was like just a looseness in the car, but I also thought that's the way the drift car was built. But obviously, because I've been running OEM shafts all my life, they've all been playing, just slapping them compared to brand new shafts, as you would say. So, fitting the Wi Fab back to the transform the car, I can't believe how much tighter the car is than rear. And granted, the figures on the ground, I was telling the guys straight away if the car just feels much more connected and tighter. So, Big success, and I actually think it's gonna it's gonna hold up. So uh, hopefully we're on for a win this weekend. We'll try our hardest.
It actually used to leak through the middle of the sensor, you know. Boost it, Chris. Have you got an air tip? The air tip? Yeah. There you are. I'm going to do much certainly is McKeever look at this hot out the press hot off the gate he's not messing around McKeever wants this he's hungry but a little stall up though into outside zone one he had to think about it for a second there now as McKeever hammers the throttle through the floor he looks for that inside zone he collects it beautifully as now McKeever gets into outside zone four and it's textbook as always from McKeever absolutely screams the rev limiter as he comes through the center of the circuit McKeever going for a big one here big smoky fast aggressive run as McKeever puts back bumper to wall no messing around he's going to completely fulfill five and six as he crosses the line. Driftmasters 2023 European Championship. Wayne McKeever from Northern Ireland will be the first of the six to head back into qualifying. At the moment, sitting in 20th position with an 88. Wow, look at that. He's early to the wall, Dave. He absolutely wants this one. He was glued to the wall. And that is over, though. That inside zone, but he makes it work now as he fires through. And he's early to the wall once again. He knows he needs to pick up outside zone four perfectly. And he does. As Dwayne McKeever sticks it all the way out, he looks for the touch and go. And he's a little short. He comes up a little short, but he makes it work for outside zone five as he now finds himself glued once again to the wall for outside zone six, and that is textbook for me. <laughs> so let's see what happens here. Dwayne McKeever gets a 92, jumps him into 12th position. And you know, that's all that you need to do. <laughs> Don't even know what place to qualify in. It's all it only happened there recently. A uh, few things changed in the mar, broke the exhaust just in the last run. I can hear the charging but noisy, but uh, other than that we're trying to feel comfortable. Uh, I think we can go the whole way in the mar, we'll give it a go. It's not gonna be easy. We've been put on a really bad side of the battle table. There's Jack and Connor on my side of the table on Road and Tara, so not gonna be easy. Um, don't know how that's gonna work out for the championship for everybody, but luck all we can do is worry about ourselves and try our hardest.
I think McKeever's car shuts down. I think McKeever's car has got a problem. You can see it, look, it's a drive shaft or a gearbox. The, the, the vibration on the steering wheel, for me, that's a failure in the car. That's a differential, that's, a, that's something gearbox. You can see the car, no smoke from the rear wheels. I'm going to think that Dwayne McKeever's out of this battle, and we've been robbed of, uh, of an exceptional battle again. And you can hear the clunking in the car, so that is definitely a mechanical failure for Dwayne McKeever. And he's had a bad year for that. Bad luck all round for Dwayne McKeever, and he's going to be he's going to be very upset about that. Yeah, I have, I have no words, Dave. I, I, I can't believe it. And the body language alone will tell you the story. Well, I've just heard it in my ear, Dave. Gearbox gone on McKeever's car, and a gearbox failure takes him out of the championship round. He couldn't win the championship. We know that as Conor Shanahan advanced through to top 16, but he still had the chance of a podium, and unfortunately, that is out for the weekend. Wow. Yeah, David Spasov will take it. But he won't want it because Davis Bosov was looking so forward to this battle with Dwayne McKeever. He's been watching on, you know, he's a wild card this weekend. Oh, Both sides. They've exploded. Hopefully next year we come back. 
of a way more reliable car and uh, we can hopefully take the championship. I'm absolutely good at this stage because I should be way up higher in the points. I should have even been here for a championship fight with you, but my car kept breaking and everything has to be changed. That anything that broke, broke before is going to be changed. So all we take is a positive of this and uh, we'll try our hardest. Hopefully see everybody next year in 2024.